on optimism and resilience. Attitude called gratitude. Blessing in disguise. Changing for the future. The first strategy we are going to look at is attitude called gratitude. It was 2015, the year that the city of Chennai drowned in torrential rain, the kind that no one had seen before. The catastrophe was unimaginable. People went hungry and without power or communication for days, flashing ideas of how the Stone Age would have been. If you were a resident of Chennai at the time and you had a roof over your head and a pack of biscuits to eat, were you grateful or were you complaining? Even in the darkest of times, there is always a silver lining. Someone is always in need of something that you already have. Sometimes even without you asking for it. Wouldn't it be nice to take a moment to reflect on those things that you take for granted? Take a diary and every day start writing down three new things that you are grateful for. Call the diary your gratitude journal. If ever you feel hopeless and let down, turn these pages to count your blessings and realize you are better off than so many. The second strategy in building optimism is called seeing the blessing in disguise. Look at this picture on the screen. Take half a minute. And as you stare, write down the animals that you see. Your time starts now. Fast, we're running out of time. Okay, stop. Indeed, we had 16 animals in that image. Just as blessings are hidden as a disguise, these animals were hidden to your immediate view. It is up to us to recognize and embrace them. Lila was waiting for a bus that was delayed by 30 minutes and she couldn't book a taxi because they were on strike. It was a hot and humid afternoon and there was no sign of transport of any form. She knew it was a long wait, but suddenly a dark cloud hit the sun and there was a sudden downpour that lasted 10 full minutes. Lila could either step out from the shelter of the bus stand and revel in this momentary respite and cool her body and mind, or stay in the shelter and complain Oh no, I hope this rain doesn't last long. I don't even have an umbrella. How we perceive and make of a situation is entirely up to us. Have you ever been in a situation where it turned out to be a blessing that you did or didn't do something? Pause this video and take a moment to try to remember an incident where an unexpected blessing transformed a hopeless situation. Write it down, type it or simply record it and then read it back to yourself and listen to it. This is a very good method of self-reflection too. The third strategy that will help you develop an optimistic attitude is changing for the future. Do you remember that time when you were younger, when your parents asked you to learn a skill or hone a talent and you were least interested in doing so? Yet, it came in handy in your adult life. Ask yourself, am I ready for change? Do I have the skills to adapt to this changing event around me? What do I have to do to ride this wave of change? Well, it is about getting out of your comfort zone and taking risks and doing that which is unusual to you. This way, you train your mind to accept the unexpected and you survive the change. While keeping a firm foot in the present, cautiously step into the future, equipping yourself with the right skill and attitude. 
You learned that expressing gratitude by journaling is a good way of staying positive. Blessings come in disguise. One way of being optimistic is accepting the unpredictable future, but preparing yourself for that unexpected. You learned that adapting to change is a good way of staying ahead of the curve. 